the small village, the villages of Mecca and Medina, they had nothing and they took over the world, one third of the world. How on earth did they do this? They had no weapons, they had no technology, they had no academia. It was just them and Tawheed. Because they knew what Tawheed meant. It was here in the heart. Because when Allah says and His messengers say, La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah, what does that mean? La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. It's not a statement we say out of frustration when we spill tea on the floor. Many of us say that. But what does it mean, Ikhwan Akhawat? It means there is no true power except the power of Allah. This means that anything in creation intrinsically has no true power. Therefore, you can't blame them for anything and they don't have any power and they can't be your obstacle because Allah only uses them as a tool to bring about His will and His power. This is so fundamental in the science of Tawheed, in the affirming the oneness of Allah Azawajal. This is why the Sahaba, they could take over the world, not, be, not fear anybody. Because they knew whatever happens is because of Allah's will and power, not because of Him. He has no truth. I'm not going to fear Him. He's nothing. I'm nothing. Do you see? And this is, this is so important for us to understand. It would really empower us to have a new realm of possibility to achieve what we can achieve. This is why Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, what did he do? Before leading the army, he would make dua to Allah so much as if he needed no one else but Allah. And when he was fighting on the battlefield, what did he do? What did he do? It's as if he needed no one else but himself. This is the Muslim. Wallahi, we fear the things that should not be feared. And we become victims. The language of victimhood is a disempowering language. You tell me when the Prophet ﷺ blamed anyone else for his situation. Tell me, when did he blame others, the Zionist, Fox News, BBC? When did he blame these people? Ikhwan Akhawat, wake up. We always want to be the victims. Yes, we are oppressed, we agree. But we don't have the mentality of the oppressed. Because we have Allah, Allah is our helper. Allah is our friend, we have Allah, they don't have Allah. Every situation is an opportunity for reward and success. And we should never have the victim of mentality. Once you have the victim of mentality, what do you do? You give power to the oppressor. He is the only one that is able to change your situation. That is the science of victimhood. Oh, I can't, I can't change. Look at me, I'm, I'm a victim. Wallahi, well, the Sahaba were never like this, even when they were losing in battle sometimes. It's because they understood reality, Ikhwan Akhawat. And by the way, atheists are mushriks. According to Dr. Jafar Idris, and he makes an amazing point because they attribute power to creation. Wallahi, interesting point, huh? The all powerful, the attribute, the attribute to creation. Because the naturalists, which in the classical sciences they were called the Dahris, the Dahriya, which now are known as communists. The Dahriya, they were naturalists thinking that the whole world is a self contained system and it only has power. So when you fear, you're like an atheist. Wallahi, it's like you don't believe in Allah because you think that this creation has intrinsic power. This is the aqidah of a naturalist, of the dahriya. This is the aqidah of the atheist. But we believe in Allah. So if, when we reaffirm this yaqeen, Wallahi, it will change your life. Inshallah. And you see this in the lives of the Sahaba. 90 years after the death of Rasulullah, where were we? Who knows where Multan is? Pakistan. We're in Multan and we're in Spain. Subhan, 90 years after the death of the Prophet And it was only then that we decided to fix the masjid, by the way. It was still dripping of water. So that tells you how important buildings are in Islam. Not very important.